Hello, welcome everyone. It's Sunday the 26th of July. I'm Diane and this is my Floss Tube channel where I share my hobby cross stitch. If you've subscribed, thank you very much for having that much faith in me. And if you're stopping by for the first time, I hope you find something you like to see. Now there's uh, one or two things I have to correct that I said in my last uh, Floss Tube video. The first one was this. This I showed as my scissor stand and I said it was meant to be a pipe stand and of course that's completely wrong. Aveline messaged me and said it's called a stove, go and look it up. It's actually a foot warmer. You would put hot coals in here, sit down and rest your feet on here. Yeah, I got that completely wrong and I swear I can hear my mother-in-law laughing from the other side of her gravestone. The other thing I did was I showed uh, the insides of a couple of Taya Governor cross stitch kits and just to go over that because I might have missed some things she has about 500 kits uh, cross stitch designs and cushion covers uh, she does not sell charts although she does have two books with charts in them I've got them somewhere if anyone would like a flip through let me know I don't I'd like to show them uh, the charts are printed on large sheets of paper, even bigger than A3 sometimes. They are printed with black and white symbols and they show the cross stitch and the back stitch together on one chart. There is no separate chart for back stitch, no colour chart and no PDFs. From what I've seen of her kits, the back stitch is minimal, it's only really where necessary. There's no beading, no half or quarter stitches, or very rarely, and very rarely does she use French knots. There are no colour numbers given for the DMC floss, and no colour names either, so you couldn't research them that way. The fabric you get is what you've ordered, whether it's um, the linen um, sort of cheesecloth, or Ada. If it's Ada, there'll be a red sticker on the back of the packet saying Ada. Your DMC floss will come ready sorted on the floss card and my advice to you there is always not the floss on the card because they are very close together. Pulling one out usually means you pull out several and if you're working on more than one Taya Governor kit then write the name of the kit on the floss cards because they are generic. I know that out of experience. Stitching a yellow rose wondering why there was a bright pink part in one of the petals. Yeah, I picked up something from the jam pots. Now, whips. This is the Peace Rose Taya Governor. I can get it without the... There we are. I'm going to stitch this much for a cushion cover and I've got a bit more done here this time. There we go. All this colouring here is new since two weeks ago. Excuse me. And then I have my uh, cell, my leap day cell, which is my oh glare, which is uh, my Saint George, also by Taya Governor. I'm quite pleased with that. I have completed the full length, I hold it back, all the way to the bottom of the picture, which is sorry, glare, glare, this part, this part right to the bottom. And obviously I've started a bit at the top. So that one's uh, that's coming on quite nicely. I'm really enjoying that one. The holes that you saw on that will be for the um, gold and other metallic threads. I want to leave those to last so they don't get damaged. My other whip that I started just two or three weeks ago is this glare. 
this one. And I think I'm stitching it that way. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure, I'll show you. a bit done. This is stitched with um, one vein, one skein of Venus and one skein of the Karen Collection Water Lilies Fiesta which is, is a lovely silk but what I've discovered while stitching this fabric although it's a really lovely soft cotton and supposed to be an even weave it isn't even. This is going to be slightly longer uh, Sorry, fiddling here. Slightly longer this way than that way. So I'm not sure how that's going to look in the end. And the other thing I've discovered, all this is uh, Water Lilies Fiesta. I've got to sew around here. I need some clips, don't I? And there's a huge great bar of pattern along there in Water Lilies. And I'm not going to have enough. So I've ordered some more. Um, so I'm going to rustle a bit still in the bag. Last time when I showed you I'd already opened it and you couldn't see what it was like when it came. This is what they like when they come. And there's about seven colours in there. And I noticed with this one, obviously it's a different dye lot, the blue is a little more blue and there's a bit more lilac in it. But uh, I think if I fussy cut it, we shouldn't be able to see any difference when I uh, stitch it up. And that's it for whips. I didn't do anything on my popcorn autumn. I just didn't get round to it. I don't know where the time goes. I do have some purchases. I bought this one by Mirabilia. This is the Duchess of Rouen. And uh, I might take part in the uh, sal that Stitch M is hosting. <clears throat> She's called it uh, Schlong Along. I'll, I'll leave it, uh, the hashtag, down below. And this is all DMCs, except for the little grey ring and maybe this, this mask, uh, that is a, a water lilies but I don't think I'll buy that just for that, I think I'll just stay with the DMCs, I've got quite a collection so the chances are I don't need to buy anything for it except some of the beads and I haven't decided if I'll do all the beading or just some of it on her dress. The other thing I bought were these, these are magnetic uh, photo frame holders that you would use to hold a photo, picture, postcard, whatever, to your fridge door. But they work really well if you put them together over a, uh, your chart, uh, particularly the Taya Governor charts, which are huge. After a while, I keep thinking, where am I? This works fine. For the Dutch viewers, if you want these, you get four in a packet from Webra for only one euro. I was really pleased about that. Um, that leaves just plans. Obviously, the Peace Rose, St George. I'll see if I can my, get my folk art finished for next time. And next uh, Wednesday, the 29th, is International Tiger Day. So I'm going to use that as a very tenuous excuse to start stitching my pure normal ha Halloween and I, I showed it before, I think. I Excuse the noise. And I have my flosses ready. And my fabric, which is looking quite pinky lilac. This I dyed myself with a mixture of violet and smoke grey. Really, it's not quite that bright. But... Uh, I'm quite pleased with that. I also washed it at 60 degrees afterwards with the towels. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to leak any dye if I ever need to wash the project again. And that's it. It's a very short floss tube. 
uh, video. Um, I'm working full time at the moment and that'll go on for another two weeks. So I don't really have a lot of time for stitching or for anything else. So I'm not sure when my next uh, video will be. It'll probably be longer than two weeks. If you've started your summer holiday, have a great time, enjoy it. And I hope you get better weather than we're having today. As you can see, I've got the overhead lights on and it's still gloomy. Take care, everybody. Look after each other. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.